The Apple Vision Pro is Apple's first product in almost a decade, and most people think it's destined for failure. The price is just too damn high. But here's the thing, they did this on purpose. They know we're not going to buy it. In fact, they only made around 70,000 units for the initial launch, which in Apple standards is basically nothing. And the money this overpriced snorkel is estimated to bring this year is barely visible on the chart compared to other products. Therefore, we have to ask ourselves the question, if Apple doesn't want us all to buy it, what do they want? The answer lies in this ancient artifact, the first cell phone. You see, the Motorola DynaTAC 8000X cost over 11 grand in today's money. That price actually worked. It became a rare sign of social status in the 80s. This concept, called prestige pricing, makes expensive products very appealing to those who can afford it, and quite alluring to those who can't. But this only works for products that are perceived as being in a class of their own. Wait, 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 we have the Quest 3 and other headsets. Is the Vision Pro really in a class of its own? Unbelievable. Incredible. Ridiculous. The most exciting. Best AR VR. Going to sit at the pinnacle of Apple's lineup. I would live here. Between the 23 million pixel display, crazy intuitive eye and hand tracking, 3D photos and videos, insane hardware, and integration with the entirety of Apple's ecosystem, it seems like it might just be. So in other words, Apple just wants us to want this device. And fair enough, I do. It looks f***ing amazing. But unlike a cell phone in the 80s, what the Vision Pro really needs are great apps. And this is where things are getting spicy. The good news is any iPhone or iPad version of an app will be available on the Vision Pro by default. Unless, and this is the bad news, the owner of the app goes out of its way to opt out of being available. And major corporations, including Netflix, Spotify, and Google with YouTube are doing just that. Vision Pro users will be stuck going to Safari for these services. And this is just the beginning. Who knows who will follow suit? Apple isn't exactly known for treating its developers well, and the small number of users might make it hard to justify the costs of making a whole new app. If that happens, Apple will find itself stuck with an incredible piece of technology that nobody uses.